All right, guys, let's go through this one. This one's number 18. This is the last one. Uh, this one, let's see. I've already got the RT down there. It's 20 ohms. But let's see how we find that 20 ohms because we need to find the current first, and then we're going to follow our current all the way through because we're going to find everything for this circuit. We've got to find voltage, resistance, and current flow for each of the elements. So let's walk through and see any series con connections that we have. We're going to add those guys up. Parallel circuits, we're probably going to do product over sum. So let's slowly break this down. Let's start over here with R8 and R10. R8 is 10 ohms. R10 is 20 ohms. Those guys are in series. So we're going to start off here. And we're going to say, all right, these guys are 30 ohms. Okay. Let's take a look at R7 and R9. Again, same values. They're in series. So down here, we're going to have 30 ohms. Okay, hopefully at this point, now that we've gone through 18 of these guys, you're starting to see the patterns. It's all about patterns in math, in the circuits, right? Trying to memorize everything, you're never going to remember all the material. So you need to find little tricks and little patterns here. So take a look here. We've got two circuits here, or two paths here, where we have 30 ohms each, right? So if we want to find the total resistance for these guys, right, we know that we got 30 ohms. Current is going to go through those guys equally, right? So we're going to take the resistance and divide by the number of paths. So that's going to give us 15 ohms for all of this. 7, 8, 9, and 10. That's the equivalent of one 15 ohm resistor. So we're just going to make a note that this guy is 15 ohms for everything on that side of the circuit. Okay, let's get rid of that to simplify things. Okay. So now we know that 7, 8, 9, and 10 are worth 15 ohms. And in series with that, we have, looks like R6. This is all 15 ohms right here. So we've got 2.5 plus 15 plus another 2.5 before we get back to this junction right here. This guy right here and this guy right here, they're a parallel junction where current goes off in two different directions. So 2.5. Plus 15 gives us 17 and a half. Plus another two and a half gives us 20 ohms from there over. What's going on here, guys? There we go. 20 ohms. Beauty. Okay. So now we found, I mean, that was fast, right? Like if once you see the patterns, then you can see that this is a series circuit with this, all of these guys, and this. We found these to be 15 ohms plus another five to give us 20. Nice. Now we got to find out what the resistance is in this rung right here. 20 and 20. Well, again, the R2, R3 is going to be 20 ohms. Divided by two paths is going to give us 10 ohms for those guys. All right. Here again, 20 and 20. Right. Current's going to go through those guys equally. So our value here is going to be 10 ohms as well. So now in this rung, we have 10 ohms plus another 10 ohms to give us 20 ohms in this room. Okay, so now you can see the patterns there. We had two equal values. Now all of a sudden we got this line at 20 ohms. All of this noise over here is 20 ohms as well. So the equivalent of these guys would be, again, 20 ohms. There's a pattern here. 20 ohms divided by two paths, giving us 10 ohms for the rest of the circuit. Okay, now we got 10 ohms for everything over here. R2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All of that can be simplified down to one 10 ohm resistor. Now, in line with that, in series with that, we have a 5 ohm plus 10 ohms, that's 15, plus another 5 to give us are 20 ohms total. Okay, one more time. 30 and 30 giving us 15 in series with 5 to give us 20 in parallel with 20 to give us 10 in series with another 10 to give us a total resistance of 20 ohms. Okay, at that point we can now find our current. Let's take all those guys out. If I went too fast then stop the video and Go back. Okay, so now we got to find our current. 
And at this point, all we have is just straight ohms law. We got 120 volts divided by 20 ohms. We got six amps flowing in this circuit. Okay, let me just grab another uh, color here. So at that point, we've got, what do we say, six amps there, right? I thought I changed the color, but we'll stick with black then. Okay, six amps going through there and six amps on this side of that guy. If we got six amps going out to that part of the circuit, well, we hope to God we got six amps going back. Otherwise, somebody's going to poke, right? Otherwise, we've got a ground fault. Maybe this is our line. This is our neutral. Current goes out throughout the circuit and back. Six amps going out, six amps coming back. On either side of these guys, we're going to have six amps. And now the key is to follow the current, okay? At this point, we have six amps, and that is going through five ohms. Six times five, what do we got? 30 volts there. Over here, we got, again, six amps, five ohms. We got 30 volts. Okay, at that point, what are we going to do? Well, if we went back a little bit in the video, we had found that um, we had 10 and 10. This rung right here was 20 ohms, right? And then over here, the equivalent of all this noise over here was 20 ohms. So some are looking ahead and saying, all right, I got equal resistance values. So the current is going to go equally down this path and this path so we're gonna have three amps over here and three amps down here so let's try that in three amps and three amps coming back okay for some that's that's just blew their mind equal resistance equal current flow so let's try something else let's disconnect the rest of this circuit right here so forget all this noise over here we have a series circuit with this resistor, this guy, this guy, and this guy. So Kirchhoff's law is that that 120 volt is going to be dropped across this and this and these guys, right? The sum of the voltage drops will equal the source. So now we have 10 ohms here and we got 10 ohms here. So those guys are equal resistance values. Equal resistance values should have the same voltage value. So let's see. Remember that we are forgetting the rest of this circuit over here. and We're just centering in on this series circuit. That 120 volts, well, we've lost 30 volts and 30 volts here. So across here, from here over to here, we got to have the rest of the voltage. we got to have 60 volts. Okay, so across there, we're going to have 60 volts. Well, then we're going to say that, all right, 60 volts, equal resistance values that means that this voltage right here okay, we'll draw it in here has got to be 30 volts and this voltage right here has got to be 30 summing to give us that 60 volts across those two loads okay now let's just look at our source voltage now 120 volts right so we got 30 plus 30 is 60 plus 30 is 90 plus another 30 gives us that 120 volts, okay? Then we're gonna look at uh, the current going through each of these guys. Well, let's see, for R2, I have 30 volts across that guy because it's in parallel with R3. I got, easy now, not 30, I got 20 ohms, right? So now we've got 30 volts, we got 20 ohms. 30 divided by 20 gives us one and a half amps. Okay, so in this rung right here, I got 1.5 amps. In this rung right here, I got 1.5 amps. All right, we got equal currents there. Excellent. So now we found the, the currents in each of those guys, and we said that the, the current, the total current in that rung was going to be 3 amps, right? Because we said that this current here was going to be 3, right? Because it had equal current values. Well, now we've got, if I could just write this in, 
There we go. Instead of being on cruise control, we got one and a half and one and a half, giving us three amps down here. Beauty. This guy, R3, that's oh, exactly the same. We got 30 volts, we got 20 ohms, we got one and a half amps. All of these guys are exactly the same as well, right? 20 ohms as well, one and a half amps. Down here, one and a half amps, summing to give us three amps, because we need three and three to sum to give us the six amps going back to the source. Excellent. Now we found everything. R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, and R12. Okay. Now we got to follow the current again. Here we got, we got three amps through R6. Uh, we got two and a half ohms. All right. So now we got to find the voltage. Well, we got three times two and a half. That's giving us seven and a half volts. Okay, this one down here is exact same. So if we looked at R11, we have three amps. We got two and a half ohms, and we got seven and a half volts. Three amps over here. Okay, now again, we're rocking through the circuit. Now we gotta find R7, R9, R8, and R10. But we know that this is 30 ohms and this is 30 ohms. So equal resistance values means that again, the current is gonna branch off equally. We're gonna have one and a half amps here and one and a half amps there, right? So we can use the currents or we can use the voltages. Right across here from here to here, we found that that was 30 volts plus another 30 volts. So from here to here, there's 60 volts. Well, we dropped seven and a half and seven and a half. We dropped 15 volts there. So 60 volts here minus the 15 means that across these bad boys, we're gonna have 45 volts left over. So let's see whether that works out. We've already found the currents because we're masters at these circuits now. We looked at the equal resistance giving us equal current values. But again, we got 10 ohms here. We got, uh, what, one and a half amps. So that means there's 15 volts across that guy. And let's just finish this guy off. That means that there's 15 volts across that bad boy as well. So we said that the 60 was gonna be dropped across this series circuit right here. We lost the 15 left us with 45, this is 15 here, this guy's gotta be 30, let's just make sure. This guy is what, 20 ohms? We got one and a half amps flowing through there. Oh, look at that, we got 35 volts across that bad boy. And if this guy has the same resistance value, then we got 35 volts across R10 as well. Nice, so disgusting circuit that in basic would have taken us forever to go through, but hopefully you can find the patterns. And as you go through, you're either looking at the currents and following the currents all the way through the circuit, or you're individually looking at the series circuits that develop. This guy, and this guy, and this guy, and this guy. We've got to equal 120, and they do. After that, we have 60 volts as a source, which is dropped here. We got seven and a half, right? Plus another 45, plus a seven and a half to sum to give us the 60 that it was across here. Right here, we've got 45 volts, which is dropped across these guys and equally dropped across R8 and R10 because it has the exact same resistance value. All right, guys, hopefully that helps. Hopefully it gets the blood flowing. Helps you to see Ohm's Law and be able to kind of break down complicated circuits.